So, uh, dear participants, uh, I would like to welcome you now to the second lecture within the uh, Project Connect. Uh, this time we'll be speaking about uh, effective management of uh, digital uh, communication. So let me um, follow up on the previous topic where I have uh, made the introduction on um, uh, digital communication um, strategy. And now I will continue on how, uh, what tools and how effectively to manage uh, our digital communication as a follow-up topic. So in the very beginning, uh, I have to uh, mention or to explain uh, in general how uh, we individuals, employees, employers, um, improve our uh, digital communication because at the moment in the digital era or the second decade of 21st century, uh, it's very important uh, that we are uh, mastering, we are uh, pretty cool, uh, good in the, uh, managing uh, uh, digital devices, widgets, uh, digital tools for uh, effective working communication with our colleagues, with the business partners, uh, with, um, within a different uh, virtual, global and regional projects. So the first is uh, so-called implementation of those uh, uh, newly introduced uh, communication platforms, because as we know, they're um, at the moment uh, in the practice, uh, they're really a wide range of uh, diversified uh, digital platforms, which are uh, available out there. We know that there are um, platforms which are some of them basic versions available uh, under su subscriptions, but then you have professional and uh, you have uh, advanced uh, uh, platforms as well. So uh, in these platforms, of course, we can find plenty of information, which uh, is more kind of like uh, centralized, uh, which means that uh, it's a pool of um, information, pool of um, uh, newly fitted information news, for example. So uh, depends on what in what department we're working, depends on what, um, what is our job description, what is our role. Of course, we need more or less uh, different level of uh, usage, uh, usage of the digital platform. And uh, for, uh, for the organizations, uh, this is, uh, of course, um, uh, quite a big challenge because uh, since the first and second wave of COVID uh, uh, came, uh, the organization had to um, proactively introduce those uh, new communication platforms, starting uh, uh, really from the very basic uh, with the uh, Google uh, Classroom, uh, Google Meet, then using, of course, um, Zoom, what I'm using at the moment, uh, then, of course, Microsoft Teams, if we uh, shift, of course, to the academic area, uh, the usage of platforms like uh, Canvas, uh, Blackboard, uh, uh, then we can mention uh, also, of course, uh, WebEx. Uh, we can speak uh, also about uh, other platforms like BlueJeans, uh, Etsy, uh, and many others. So the, those platforms, uh, they have uh, uh, they have been enhanced by different organizations uh, in academia. We know uh, that uh, the need of uh, implementation of those uh, platforms uh, was really very high. And at the same time, with uh, each next wave of uh, COVID, uh, we have been experiencing them as well. So the next uh, uh, the next uh, step in uh, into effectively managing uh, digital communication is basically uh, how to improve. So how to improve uh, those uh, different uh, uh, channels and different ways of uh, how we are communicating digitally. First, uh, we have to start with uh, one important uh, step. Uh, of uh, training of the employees uh, to, uh, to use or to enhance the digital platforms because we know very well that uh, without uh, proper training, without proper um, uh, bringing of the awareness, uh, 
of uh, the employees or to each of employees uh, the role or the need for this uh, uh, for the use of digital uh, platforms will be uh, barely uh, successful uh, what i mean by that i mean that uh, the uh, rolling out the implementation the enhancement of these digital platforms is a key uh, phase uh, in the entire process so it means that uh, we need to have uh, uh, quite well uh, you know prepared the employees the infrastructure as well in the organization so it means that uh, each employee each member of the organization needs to uh, get acquainted uh, with that, so it means to go through the relevant instructions uh, to get acquainted with the devices, uh, with the, uh, these uh, uh, digital platforms, uh, so with the relevant technology. So it means that very important is the practicing, not only having installing the software, uh, the platform, and then launching it, but actually practicing. So practicing uh, with. Um, you know, uh, in the lessons, uh, so it means with the students, of course, practicing for uh, a virtual uh, collaboration in a project, for example, under Erasmus Plus project is a good, uh, uh, actually, relevant example on that. So uh, the trainings, they need to be uh, well organized and they need to be uh, properly, uh, timely uh, organized because uh, for each of those uh, enhancements of each of these uh, digital uh, platforms uh, sometimes is needed and of course on the other hand our capabilities of employees as individuals is different so it means that we need to be able to uh, absorb and uh, to be able to use these digital platforms effectively which means for our context in our lessons in our projects in our work uh, no matter what our work is also, uh, uh, the, uh, the participants in these trainings, they have to be uh, fully aware uh, what are the capabilities and uh, the functionality of each of those platforms. So it means that if we have uh, Zoom or if we have Microsoft Teams, uh, it's very important what we can use it for, uh, how we can effectively reach out there the audience how we can uh, lead effectively the meetings, you know, virtual meetings, online meetings, how effectively to discuss, to brainstorm, uh, how effectively to, uh, uh, you know, to uh, lead um, the discussion and to, to uh, assign, uh, let's say, within the team, uh, different roles. So uh, for each of those uh, platforms, there are always... Uh, some advantages and disadvantages and uh, the features which are available. And we know very well that those um, uh, software uh, uh, companies like Microsoft, Zoom and the others, they constantly update the features of uh, the digital platform. So it means that uh, we need to be uh, fully aware of that and uh, uh, to pass that knowledge, to pass that, um, I would say, um, uh, um, training to uh, each of the participants. Otherwise, uh, we will only explain and say, okay, here you have the general platforms, but then it's up to the individuals how they will proceed. So therefore, uh, the proper training uh, from perspective of organization and time is very important. And then, of course, uh, also the uh, division of the, uh, I mean, dividing of the groups because some uh, academicians, some uh, managers, some, uh, let's say, project managers, they're more advanced than the others with basic knowledge on, the, on those uh, digital platforms. So it's good if we have, as I said, also uh, continuous uh, development trainings. So uh, we know that uh, uh, in the first and second wave of COVID worldwide, there were uh, across a lot of university schools, vocational schools, quite a lot of um, trainings of the basics of uh, those platforms. But then with each uh, uh, new um, COVID wave, uh, these trainings have been uh, continuing uh, and uh, now they're into advanced um, stage. The next uh, step, this is uh, basically the uh, having uh, important communication face-to-face -face because even though um, these um, uh, digital tools, how, uh, how effective they are and how proper they are, still 
the role of the face-to-face -face, um, communication has been, as you see, according to different uh, studies, uh, for example, the study by made by, conducted by Journal of Experimental Psychology states that uh, the face-to-face -face communication uh, is uh, uh, around 35 times more likely to get accomplished. So it means that uh, in the digital communication, the very common one like uh, emails, we know that uh, very often emails, they go into some spam uh, folder or they're unseen by uh, the person who we are um, sending to. Um, very often I have my personal experience because um, having I have several email accounts and uh, working uh, accounts. And I have to say that really on a regular basis, every morning I'm checking also my spam because I know that in the spam uh, for link sometimes very important emails coming and in the past it happened that uh, I didn't notice so um, uh, of course we know that uh, we can set up our rules for uh, receiving emails uh, however still uh, you know these face-to-face -face meetings if they are allowed if according to the COVID regulations of course uh, we should uh, have uh, once in a while because they are kind of um, uh, the inside the growth, the, 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 the main, uh, which brings added value. Otherwise, of course, it's a, a question of uh, how good equipment we have, uh, what platforms we use, and what is the infrastructure of the organization which we are using. Yeah. The next point is uh, uh, digital communication uh, needs to be uh, efficient and insightful. So what we mean uh, by efficient and insightful, uh, we mean that uh, here um, we have to say that uh, before um, you know launching this digital communication, we need to uh, know uh, what we want to achieve or uh, what is uh, expected from the that communication from that process. Uh, we need to um, carefully see as uh, uh, our uh, daily routines, our daily schedules, uh, which are uh, full of uh, meetings, majority of them online, as uh, especially now during COVID. And uh, uh, therefore also some, uh, I mean, uh, different reports are needed to be, uh, let's say, uh, written, to be prepared, especially for the projects, we know that this is uh, pretty important. And uh, in this uh, digital communication, which uh, needs to be efficient and insightful, we refer uh, here also to the uh, internal internet or the intranet platform of uh, the different organizations. So it means that uh, we need to get a feedback, uh, we need to have uh, some um, also uh, surveys, questionnaires across the organization, the companies, in order to have um, uh, feedback from the from the rest of the uh, uh, from the uh, rest of the uh, uh, employees, and this is uh, pretty important. Also, uh, we need to, uh, of course, take advantage of these uh, digital platforms, uh, which are needed, uh, which are needed uh, for effective usage of. Uh, of the of uh, this uh, communication with the rest of the employees and with the business partners so this is uh, here a uh, step which uh, i have to say that uh, it's pretty important uh, for it's pretty important for the effective communication digital uh, communication yeah with the, with the um, audience then uh, to continue uh, with the next step of uh, the uh, presentation and particularly for improving the digital communication, um, as I mentioned with the intranet platform. So uh, each organization has its own uh, platform uh, for internal communication uh, with the employees, uh, having different capabilities again. So we have to know uh, what is, um, is capable and able this platform to uh, deliver and what we need to outsource from outside. So it means what may be for surveys, if we're not happy with the Microsoft forms, for example, then we need to look at uh, into alternative uh, um, online survey platforms like Monkey Survey, Google Survey and many others. Um, 
The next step uh, in the effective management of the digital communication is that uh, we need to be very sharp, very uh, straightforward, and of course, competent professional in that. So it means that uh, uh, this uh, online communication uh, has its own pitfalls, for example, uh, technical uh, connection, you know, issues with the microphone, the volume, the speakers, uh, with the Wi-Fi, data uh, speed, internet speed, which we have available either in our, at our homes or in the office or wherever we are connected with. So all these uh, uh, pitfalls are, of course, hindering uh, the effective communication. So we need to be uh, know uh, that uh, uh, how to start, uh, you know, the meeting. Uh, we need to uh, be very sharp into explanations, not to make too long explanations. And also, uh, especially in a conversation, we need have to consolidate, we need to synthesize, we need to uh, quickly brainstorm, we need to switch roles, you know, the, uh, the um, uh, virtual breakout rooms, for example, creating in Zoom or in Microsoft or in the other platforms. So, uh, because we know that in the online, uh, there is always some kind of delay, you know, sounding uh, into the uh, communication. So uh, if we need to send different messages, different uh, statements uh, to the audience or uh, to the individuals, to the partners who are out there uh, in the online transition, so uh, we need to be uh, really uh, sharp. Otherwise, you know very well that uh, in a very long uh, presentations, online presentations, even face-to-face -face presentations, we might lose the attention of the audience. And that's why here also my videos are rather short because, uh, of course, speaking for very long time, I know that you'll be switching on, switching off uh, the video, and maybe some of you even will be demotivated to listen maybe one hour or two hours uh, video on that. So we have to be very concise, very sharp. Sometimes it's needed, of course, extra explanation, but always you can do uh, by, uh, you know, asking maybe from the audience by name or, um, you know, directly the person uh, for answer, for reaction. We know that the chat can be used as well for using as for answers. However, we have to be aware of not uh, making exactly overwhelm the, the, the online audience. The next step in the um, effective management uh, uh, digital communication is the so-called proper scheduling of uh, communication at work. So we need to have uh, our uh, scheduling, our calendars, because uh, uh, they are uh, different against studies uh, from the uh, professional sectors, I mean, from different industries, which states that managers who regularly uh, send emails uh, after working hours, for example, uh, late evening or, you know, after 6, 7 p.m., uh, that uh, they may be doing their employees more harm than good. What we mean by that is that uh, we know on one side that uh, in uh, digital era, we, are, we might be online 24-7, but it has its own, of course, negative sides of uh, being also online. I know that sometimes it might help and that uh, we, are need, we need to reach some one uh, person partner in a, some troubleshooting situation. And the person even can be on a holiday, but having uh, his or her mobile next to him or her. And uh, this, of course, uh, might help us. But of course, it's a question that, uh, especially in the working hours, we have to be very effective. So, and there are too many distractions in this uh, digital world. So it means that uh, even though there are too many distractions, we have to be really sharp in what we are doing. And um, uh, even uh, as he stated, if the manager doesn't expect response until the next day, uh, workers could feel pressure, uh, pressure to respond immediately anyway, because you know very well that when you are having the device, the gadget next to you, and uh, you have the notification of received email and in this email that uh, uh, the, the, the person, the party is asking you to reply uh, SAP as soon as possible, that even though if we don't want, there is a kind of 
uh, auxiliary uh, pressure on, on, on the individuals. So therefore, uh, it's important scheduling of this digital communication. Uh, you know, how much meetings you have, how many meetings you have a day, uh, how many uh, basically, uh, let's say, brainstorming uh, activities you have or um, long meetings, short meetings, one-to-one -one group meetings. Then, of course, um, checking and writing uh, and receiving uh, reading emails. We know that, of course, switching them to another platform because uh, by working in different positions, project manager, academician, um, you know, administrator, IT security, and so on. So you need to switch quite a lot of uh, platforms, especially nowadays, because uh, we have for reporting purposes, for administrative purposes, for each purpose, business trips, for example, the bills, uh, then, of course, reporting, uh, student grades entering, the study systems and so on. So they're pretty, uh, quite a lot of platforms. So we need to know that if we have a routine, uh, that this routine is effective. So checking emails, uh, working, you know, teaching, delivering, consulting, consultations and uh, project work. The next step in the effective management of digital communication is uh, basically so-called, we need to have a plan uh, for so-called emergent or emergence or urgent messages, because uh, there are particular messages which have uh, urgent character. They have uh, urgent matter and uh, we need to uh, have uh, uh, kind of a prompt reply. We need to be uh, prioritizing. And uh, in the uh, digital era full of uh, ocean of messages, I would say uh, really massive of uh, messages, we need to learn how to uh, prioritize the communication, which means that uh, what is an urgent message and what is a standard message. So we need to have uh, to create a rule uh, in the calendar, for example, in your Outlook um, or in your Google calendar, please create a rule. So you're saying that uh, from business partner, it's coming email. Yeah, if it's very important, if it's urgent, then always try to process it to work it out. Um, we know the role of the procrastination because with uh, uh, in the digital era, this is very typical that uh, uh, we start doing something, but then we end up in a completely different app or in a different platform, which of course is very dangerous for our time management and for our um, effective communication, uh, especially in the online world. So therefore, uh, make sure that uh, you set up your priorities in my, uh, for example, Outlook calendar. I have uh, the task which uh, with a red flag, what needs to be done, uh, then what has been done. Uh, I regularly check on that because uh, it happens in the past that uh, even uh, uh, high priority emails I was a bit late. So it, it caused, of course, uh, to me a big trouble that I had to meet uh, several deadlines. We know that uh, postponing uh, these kind of tasks, assignments, would only bring a headache uh, to the people because basically when you have to manage uh, so many messages with urgent and non-urgent priority, then uh, especially before holidays, Christmas is coming over, New Year is coming over. So we know that all of us now want to manage uh, these uh, um, you know, work assignments before holidays in order to have a good holiday. But actually, many of us are not managing that. So from the previous years, we know, especially the last two years. So we know that uh, um, celebrating New Year or Christmas uh, might be not that nice. I mean, really, I don't want to be kind of uh, pessimistic that I'm just saying that in the calendars, you need to be really uh, highly prioritizing the tasks. And uh, you need to use, of course, different video calls as well, like channels. A uh, good example is that uh, uh, we have um, uh, some routine calls, for example, in Microsoft Teams, but then uh, some very urgent calls, they can be done with uh, different apps, WhatsApp, uh, Viber app, uh, that could be with Google Duo, for example. Uh, on the other hand, uh, we might have uh, other channels, for example, Skype for business or regular Skype that could be, of course, with other platforms, uh, uh, which means that uh, we need to differentiate the different platforms for what purposes we use them. Uh, otherwise, we can, can, of course, use one uh, digital platform for having you know, all this communication that is also possible. Yeah.
The next step is uh, providing and obtaining uh, the feedback because you know that in the um, online world, uh, in the digital world, getting the feedback uh, when the companies, organizations need to get from the clients, but also we want to get uh, them from the students uh, in our universities, in our schools. Uh, we need to use, of course, uh, different, uh, again, platforms, different, um, um, uh, I would say, approach into obtaining this feedback. Uh, and uh, of course, we know that the communication is not only one way. So even if we record, as I'm recording now, a video lecture uh, or training or instructions, we know that after uh, you know the audience watching uh, watches them, uh, we need to still verify and to make sure that we have a feedback. If uh, uh, you know the audience has uh, captured, has got our message. Uh, how they're uh, you know reacting to that? Uh, what are their questions? Um, what are their concerns? What are their uh, you know reactions to all these uh, matters which are so? Uh, there are different uh, approaches like policies on the feedback. Here, uh, global research uh, demonstrates or shows that businesses that have consistent feedback policies, which means experience nearly 15% less turnover than those uh, who don't. So it means that the consistency is the key. So when you are providing instructions, when you are telling the audience that something is, is expected from them, when you need to feed them uh, regularly with uh, online videos and uh, with instructions, then you have to do it uh, on a regular basis. Otherwise, um, the routine uh, is uh, disappearing and then uh, the audience thinks that uh, actually this is not uh, relevant and very likely that nobody will watch it, uh, the, the, the video, you know, the, the video instructions. Uh, also, uh, it's important in this uh, digital uh, or online communication to have, of course, let's say weekly or be weekly um, kind of a, a calendar, uh, you know, notifications where uh, you keep, uh, keep an eye of uh, important uh, feedback, what is supposed to be, you know, uh, feedback from the students, feedback from the learners, feedback uh, from the uh, colleagues, from the peers, uh, feedback also from external organizations. Uh, this is very important, uh, relevant, and uh, especially for the, the projects as, as we are in you know, Erasmus Plus Strategic Partnership, we know that uh, also the project, uh, they have uh, its own uh, quality management. So the quality management is also where uh, the uh, relevant stakeholders come across with uh, their uh, ideas, uh, with their uh, suggestions but uh, for providing feedback and it needs to be taken into account because there are too many ways of uh, providing uh, feedback, but it's important to have this uh, regular feedback and to see where we have improved and where we have failed, where we have uh, made any mistake or what we need to do next. So this is very important, the constructive and the long-term feedback. The next uh, step in the effective management of the digital communication is the um, urging, encouraging, uh, motivating uh, the different, I mean, the connections across or among the employees or the individuals in the, in the organization, because um, always we know that even in a digital, uh, in a digital um, uh, world, we use uh, quite a lot of uh, uh, tools, digital tools for, for example, for problem solving, or from teamwork, uh, typical could be a mind map where we need to divide uh, the group into I mean, the, the students, the learners, but also the uh, participants in uh, into small groups. And these groups uh, can work uh, as a team so they can uh, provide their feedback with the different uh, stickers, for example, online stickers. Uh, they can uh, create uh, tool boxes, uh, you know, text boxes, they can uh, draw, uh, make a picture, uh, you know, diagram table to insert. They can share it. Uh, also, they can uh, uh, create the relevant video uh, and materials for providing explanations, for example, or, uh, you know, to solve any problem. Also, uh, we need in that aspect to uh, encourage all the time the learners, I mean, the participants to uh, have the mindset of uh, that uh, they are one team and that we need to help each other 
but not uh, leaving them really uh, the entire work uh, to be done individual uh, and then just to uh, say, okay, chunk from here, chunk from there, but make sure that in this digital um, uh, connected world, we have, uh, we have uh, exactly the, the connectivity, like that uh, teamwork needs to be out there. The added value of the teamwork needs to be uh, out there, especially towards the common goal of a project or of a subject, what uh, it needs to be done. And, and as, as I said, there are platforms like digital, um, like mind maps, uh, diagrams, uh, whiteboards. Uh, there uh, in Microsoft, uh, you can use, of course, also the um, uh, the breakout rooms, as they mentioned in the, in the previous, and many other tools, of course. Um, the next step is the uh, alignment of the communication with the organization or the company goals, because uh, one thing is, of course, uh, how top management, for example, or how the uh, rectorate of a, a university um, communicates and says how it's supposed to be, but then uh, this uh, communication internally needs to go through all hierarchical level of the organization, which means that they need to be linked still to the organizational mission and vision. So um, here we can say that in the business, for example, the salespeople, they are always like in a routine where uh, they have introduced particular metrics for measuring, uh, for example, how these uh, employees are motivated, you know, beyond the KPIs, the key performance indicators, we have to also uh, say, uh, for example, so-called roadblocks or updates on the competitors, uh, which means that receiving information from uh, outside of the organization. Uh, so it means that the communication inside, if uh, the organization promotes uh, online chats, uh, internal tickets, digital tickets opening, um, different platforms uh, uh, for sharing, um, providing feedback, criticism, and so on, then this organization, of course, uh, will have relevant, uh, uh, relevant strategy. Uh, what I mean by that, I mean that uh, the companies, if they have um, more kind of hierarchical structure, uh, they might have, uh, of course, a more conservative way of uh, um, uh, communication. So it means that they might use that there is, a, of course, certain procedures and so on. But there are organizations where you have a rather flat structure where, of course, everyone is connected all the time. So it means that in the digital world, you can uh, even send directly in the chat or, uh, you know, by email uh, directly to the top manager, could be a rector if we're speaking in the university. So this is uh, important to know because there are some schools where they're filtering the different, for example, complaints from parents, from students and so on. Uh, then uh, at the end here, uh, I would like to uh, thank you. So I try to be very sharp from that uh, perspective, like the steps of effective management. Um, uh, in my uh, speech, I mentioned quite a lot of actually different platforms, digital platforms in each of the context of uh, uh, effective managing digital uh, communication. So please be aware again of uh, the uh, time because in the digital, in the online world, uh, the time actually uh, really flies quite quickly. It takes more time to set up uh, the, uh, I mean, the lecture, the instructions. It takes more time, of course, to explain, to, to say um, always the feedback is not out there. We know that uh, even cameras can be lacking uh, in the communication. So this is what uh, we have to be aware. So if you have a connection, uh, I mean, if you have a, sorry, um, questions on that, please do not hesitate to uh, send me email. So very much looking forward, of course, uh, our assignment, our lectures, and also um, the final quiz, because uh, uh, there will be exciting uh, assignments in front of us. So many thanks. I'll stop. Yeah.